thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Uh, as you can tell, I, I do as I'm told. And I thought I had to stand up at the time when my immediate predecessor would sit down. And uh, clearly, I failed. Um, good afternoon, and thank you very much for having me uh, with you. I would like to thank the National uh, Press Club, and especially President Angela Grilling Keane, for not only inviting me to this prestigious venue, but essentially presenting the outline of what I want to talk to you about now. So it's as if we had prepared that together, which we have not. Now let me first of all, of course, begin by wishing you all a happy new year. I guess it's still time to do that, given that we are just exactly halfway through between our Western uh, New Year and the Lunar New Year, which will loom in a few weeks' time. I think it's also appropriate to wish ourselves a happy new year, given what I would like to talk to you about, which has to do with uh, the global economy and what we should expect for 2014. Now, I'm going to test you um, numerology skills by asking you to think about the magic seven. Okay? Most of you will know that seven is quite a number in all sorts of themes, religions, and uh, I'm sure that you can compress numbers as well. If we think about 2014, all right, I'll, I'm just giving you 2014, you drop the zero, 14, two times seven. Okay, that's just by way of example, and we're going to carry on. So, if we think about 2014, all right, I'm just giving you 2014, you drop the zero, 14, two times seven. Okay, that's just by way of example, and we're going to carry on. So 2014 will be a milestone and hopefully a magic year in many respects. It will mark the 100th anniversary of the First World War back in 1914. It will mark the 70th anniversary, 70th anniversary, drop the zero, seven, <laughs> of the Bretton Woods Conference that actually gave birth to the IMF, and it will be the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, 25th. Okay. It will also mark the seventh anniversary of the financial market jitters that quickly turned into the greatest global economic calamity since the Great Depression. The crisis still lingers. Yet, optimism is in the air. We've left the deep freeze behind us, and the horizon looks just a bit brighter. So my hope and my wish for 2014 is that after those seven miserable years, weak and fragile, we have seven strong 
yours. I don't know whether the G7 will have anything to do with it or whether it will be the G20. I certainly hope that the IMF will have something to do with it. I don't know whether the G7 will have anything to do with it or whether it will be the G20. I certainly hope that the IMF will have something to do with it. <laughs> Please, good people, these are times of powerful passion. Why are you concussing yourself? Why are you concussing yourself? Now, fellow countrymen, a house divided against itself. Oh, guess what? I also play Frankenstein. <laughs> Douglas is getting away. Simple, Seymour. Get a corporate sponsor. But don't worry, you won't have to compromise yourself. Now, please welcome the star of Stuff Which is Ads, who lost 400 pounds eating only Stuff Which subs, Ezra. Tell us your hero, and you could win a Stuff Which college scholarship. Whoa. Then you can be a hero like me. <laughs> Madam Curie, we just might have this one in the bag. <laughs> My hero, or should I say hero in, dazzled the early 20th century with her scientific discoveries. <gasps> okay, calm down. Maybe he's talking about Margaret Mead.
hero, Lisa never lies. I'm a great school hero, and heroes never die. Just one guitar, a song way down low. Yeah, one guitar. Where did my lawnmower go? It's like you to come to the World Cup as our guest and ref our games properly. Well, no one has ever questioned my professionalism, except at my profession. What do you think, sweetie? Dad, they're offering us an all-expenses-paid trip to the greatest sporting event on Earth. The 2008 Super Bowl? Oh, I wish. Eli Manning's pass to David Tyree. But about the World Cup, I need your answer now. Hmm, sure, why not? on your purchase of a Footmaster brand soccer ball. Thanks, Book. Look, you got us a free trip. Just slack off and cash your check like you always do. I believe this sweet little girl in 21D would disagree with you. What the? I switched with her, Dad. My TV didn't work. Now I can watch my premium HBO. Live from Sao Paulo, we bring you the World Cup Round Robin Group F opening round match. Today's game is between our host country, football powerhouse Brazil, olé, 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 olé. and Luxembourg, whose entire nation has turned up. I've got to hurry. I've got 998 square miles to rob. Ha ha! The mighty Brazilian squad features the greatest master of the fake injury soccer has ever known, El Divo. Ah! How'd she eat the meat without the vegetables? Well, the stomach wants what it wants. <clears throat> oh, I need some air. Ah, oh, Brazil, I couldn't stay afraid of you forever. The only thing that keeps me from living here is that fish that swims up your pea stream. That is a deal breaker. Homer Simpson, I would like to congratulate you on your fine officiating today. Thanks. I still can't believe the yellow and red cards don't stand for mustard and ketchup. Your disbelief will fade with time. But now, I would like to know if you are as incorruptible as they say. Oh, that is where I left my cell phone. is the World Cup Final! Yay! Will it be a German Blitzkrieg or a Brazilian waxing? This match is tighter than two dogs on a summer morn. There's no score at all. Even the slightest pebble could start a landslide. And El Vivo goes down in the box. Will Hummer award a penalty kick to Brazil? Do it! Do it! Call the penalty! No penalty! He dove, Dad! Mm. No penalty! <laughs> I repeat! No penalty! No penalty! The game, plus two hours of funeral time, is about to conclude. And with Germany the victor 2-0 in an unprecedented display of rectitude and stubbornness by one Homer Simpson. I've never seen the Brazilians so depressed. Olé, 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 olé. You broke a deal with us and we have lost a fortune. <laughs> well, at least I'll die the American way in a foreign country wearing short pants. Wait, 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 wait. I want to say something. You have one minute. Wait, let it get to the 12. Now. Ila, por favor, perdole. Ah, your fluency is impressive. You can help my son learn Hebrew for his bar mitzvah. But I'm still killing your husband. First, mazel tov. Second, don't. Please, please, I'm a mother. Surely you have a mother, too? I do have a mother. Oh, she's right there. I'm sorry, my son. We owe a debt to the Simpsons that can never be repaid. All that she did was switch seats on a plane. On a 15-hour flight! 
No penalty. Fine.